not Monday, but I gotta do this video because I just have the sudden urge to just let you know how awesome God is and that you don't have to be afraid. I know I keep talking about it and I'm going to keep talking about it because you guys will understand if you have a sudden urge to do something, then that's the Holy Ghost compelling you to do it. I'm telling you, just go and do it. It might seem like you're afraid at first because we're human. So it, it it's, it's going to happen. But when you do it, you are actually going to be astonished with yourself. I don't know how else to explain it. I just know that I had a sudden urge to do something. And when I got that urge, I just wanted to, like it felt like something was in my stomach. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like it wasn't burning. It didn't feel like I was gonna throw up, but it was just in my stomach and I felt like I had to get it out. I never had a baby, so I'm not gonna say I had to birth it out. Cause you know how they use that analogy with birthing out your gift well whatever this is it's taking me to the next level like i heard the holy ghost say to me once you take that step i will take you to that next level and i've been content for a while and i'm like this is this ain't it this is not how it's supposed to be i don't want to be content with life i need to do more i need to be more i just I need more. I wanted to encourage you. I'm going to stay on this Hebrews 11 and 6 because without faith, it is totally impossible to please him. How can we say that we have faith and not act on it? Let me just tell y'all about this prayer that I always prayed and I didn't realize that this is what I asked for while I'm praying it. Let me get it together. It says, God, I come before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I pray that you lead me and guide me in the path that you have for me. Let your perfect will be done in my life. Now, God, I bind up every ungodly force in the name of Jesus. Anything that will be a hindrance today, please remove it. Keep my mind focused and stayed on you. I choose to walk on the higher places of the earth. I choose to be successful and prosperous. I choose to have a good day. I love you, Lord, and I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. How am I going to pray and ask for that stuff and not expect something to manifest? Crazy. You cannot understand this from a carnal mind. So if you're trying to understand this in a worldly point of view, you're not going to get it. I just know that God is my provision and nobody else can be my provision but him. I cannot put anybody else above him because if I do, then... I'm going to crash and burn and I'm not trying to crash and burn. I need every single thing. I need every single thing that God has for me. And I'm going to get that without apology to nobody. I'm going to do what I have to do for God. And once I do that, he's going to take me higher and higher and higher. And I'm encouraging you to do so because you can do it. If you just do what he says do, he's going to take you to the next level and he's going to keep moving you higher and higher. You might not see it right now. The stuff that's happening because you're looking at it with your worldly eyeballs look into the spirit with your spiritual eyes do not think of this as something that's worldly because you're not going to comprehend it this is not to the people who are carnal minded and i'm praying if you're listening to this and you're looking at this through a carnal mind that you get spiritual eyeballs to understand what i'm talking about when this stuff manifests you're gonna be like wow it's gonna be amazing I'm telling you, you have to step out on faith. Once you step out there and do it, he has to support you. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of a man that he should repent. So he has to say and do what he's going to do. Because if he does it, then he's lying. And God don't lie. Period. That's what I have to say for today. Be encouraged. Step out on faith. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you need to know him. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he died for you. He rose on the third day and he's coming back. After you do that, all is well in Jesus' name. Have a good day.